Alright, hi guys, this is Aaron and welcome back to another video on Bluebeam Review. Right, so for today's video, we are going to be talking about uh, comparison. Alright, so the term comparison can refer to both drawing comparison, it can be used for document comparison as well. For today, uh, we are going to be focusing more on drawing comparison. Right, so as a baseline, Bluebeam has two main features under the document function. You have the compare documents and you have overlay pages. Right, so uh, let, 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 let's just go through the, the basic way of using uh, overlay. So if I were to use overlay, right, you can actually choose more than two. Right, so you can choose up to uh, quite a few number of pages actually. Uh, you can select the layer to compare, you can select the pages as well. Right, but more importantly, you just have to take note of the colors uh, that come into the different uh, documents. Right, too many colors, if the colors are too similar, you're not going to get uh, you're, you're not going to see the difference very clearly. Right, so the thing to note is that whenever you create an uh, overlay function or, or the document comparison function, there will always be a new drawing that is created, which you can see here. It's always a new file. Right, so none of the existing files will be affected. And each of the drawings will become a layer on its own with its own color coding, which you already saw just now. Right, so blue, red, and green, which you can toggle on and off to check for differences. Alright, so that is an overview of the overlay function. Now, if you were to be using the compare function, it is just a simple one-to-one -one comparison. Okay, but the base of it all still remains the same. The file that displays the differences will always be on a new file. Alright, so similar to overlay, the original drawings or documents do not get affected. Alright? can zoom in and zoom out right so as I'm doing this you also notice that the other side the base drawing on my right is also syncing together at the same time so this is a process of this is a feature called sync which I can elaborate in more detail in another video right in the future right so what I want to cover additionally today is what are some of the uh, what are some of the issues that you may face when you are actually trying to compare uh, drawings all right so now I have here uh, two files, right? So if you look at it, stage one and stage two, okay? The first thing that you see is that each of these items are actually made up of, of individual snapshots, right? So this will be beneficial to know uh, for any one of you working in the civil, uh, civil industry, which well, where you have a lot of part plans um, that you always have to uh, print it out, put it on the floor and then stitch together. Right, you'd be good to know that Bluebeam, you can actually use the snapshot feature under edit, this snapshot feature, right, which you can actually uh, snapshot all the different part plans that you have and then paste it onto a blank PDF in Bluebeam, which allows you to then stitch up this entire uh, document or this stage plan, as you can see here. Right, so uh, what we're going to show now is uh, if I were to overlay the page, Right, so for example, if I overlay the stage 1 and stage 2 right now. Right, so what you will see here is that it is blank. Right, this is not a visual bug, this is not an issue, but yes, it's blank. Right, so uh, some of you may have experienced this before when you, after stitching everything, and you try to do the uh, overlay function and, and say, hey, how come it doesn't appear? Right, so the reason why it doesn't appear is because it needs to be flattened first. So right now, all the snapshots which you have placed on this document, all are individual markups, which you can see here. Right, so what you need to do is you have to go to document and flatten the document first. Right, so I'm going to jump, I'm going to jump ahead where I've already flattened them. Okay, so from here on my screen, you will see that there are two documents, the same documents, just that I have already flattened them. So you can see here, there is no markup shown here. Alright, so if I were to do the overlay function now. Right, so after I have run the overlay, uh, the first difference you see is that, hey, you actually see something. Alright, so yes, the first key to solving this issue is that you need to flatten. Now, that brings about a second issue is that the alignment is not in line. Right, this can happen because you do not know the exact points to paste on 
when you are stitching the entire uh, two pages of this document, which is very normal, right? You will either uh, get an issue of alignment or you may get issue that the scale may not be the same. The scale and the size will not be the same. So in this case, if you have this sort of situations, right? So you have to click align points. What they will ask you to do is to pick three points of the document, of each document, all right? So that means if I have two documents, I have to pick a total of six points. Right, so I've already clicked on the first three points earlier. Now I'm going to click on the next three points. And once I click OK and let it run. Right, so after you see I let it run with the align points with the three points, then this two, then the result uh, happens to be clearer. And yes, you, you can see the differences uh, much better from here. Right, so I hope this video has helped you out. Right, thank you. See you again.